present their contract to them and they take the contract pay the money that's it right other assets inventory it means goods the company sells to customers but not yet sold all the unsold goods or unfinished goods customer normally companies manufacturing company they purchase raw material they convert into finished goods and then they sell it so if if there is a manufacturing company so inventory include both unfinished products plus the finished products that that the company couldn't sell right prepaid expenses we already told you it, these are the assets prepaid expenses you pay the expenses in advance it means the benefit you didn't receive yet you will receive in future so we call that prepaid expense and these are our assets so don't just focus the expenses focus on prepaid so that you understand that it is already prepaid in advance so we will receive the benefits in future so you know up till then these are our rights and we will record it as our resources as our assets land land mean all the land cost of the land we will talk about what do we mean by the cost of the land just for your uh, curiosity cost of the land mean for example you uh, a hire agent who search land for you and there are some legal documents as well and their transfer fee on tax on the land is like that so all would be included in the cost of the land right until then the land is ready for operational purposes right so this should be added on the land cost building similarly cost of the building you purchase the building already constructed buildings and then you apply some whitewash right to make it a uh, useful for its operation so that whitewash cost also going to be included agent fees also going to be included because you pay agent fees for locating the building right this kind of stuff also included in the cost of the building equipment furniture and fixtures so what are the equipments equipments are like xerox copy machines it's like that uh any kind of equipment uh, computers um, coffee machines like fixtures we have a dispenser like ac these are the fixtures right furniture we already know that Our table chairs like that so what are the cost cost means so you purchase from the you know company or from the shop and then you pay transportation so that transportation also be included in the cost so that is the full cost of the equipment furniture and fixtures so and remember the value of the furniture equipment decreases with the increase in time so as the time passes the value of the goods uh, of the long term asset that are under your use decreases so we call that decrease depreciation we have a whole new chapter on that one so just remember that so this is basically lost in the value of the long term asset by the usage or through the you know as the time passes now a liability liability is a debt so liability can be short term or can be long term can be current or can be long term we talked about that accounts payable similarly it the promise to pay that similarly it is also promised to pay that but on some future date with interest signed by the notes is like that a accrued liability what did we talk about that in our previous class accrued liability that liability occurred but you didn't pay right it means you receive the benefit in advance and you will pay them later so this is the opposite of prepaid right so in that case this is our liability accrued expenses or accrued liabilities right these are our liabilities honors equity these are the honors claim claim to home you see assets equal to liabilities plus honors equity so honors claim against assets right so it includes common stock common stock belongs to the investments uh investment in the company we retain earnings 
net income or loss earned over the time minus the dividend or the income that is reinvested into the business not distributed to the customers sorry to the owners dividend the distribution from the earning to the stockholders or owners right but it is necessary to pay dividends no for them you need to have a special approval in the annual journal meeting that is introduction to business part i'm just going to repeat that one I'm refreshing your memories over there here so it is declared by the board of directors in annual journal meeting and honor honors claim on the assets of the corporate uh, of the corporation through retained earning like i told you retained earnings can be increased or decreased from net income and net income is coming from these two so it means revenues and, ex and expenses are also they are also belong to owner's equity so revenue means increase in stockholder equity from delivering goods and services which means this is a sales head or sales account right that means the goods and services on the basis of what it is incorporated if the company is in incorporated to sell computers so selling computers is basically they are goods so their main goods are selling computers means computers so their operations are computer right expenses all the laborers and represent uh, representative salaries and all those stuff they are their expenses which kind of expenses cost of doing those operations means by selling the computers whatever you incur the cost you pay rent you pay utility bills you pay salary to ceo supervisor sales sales staff commissions and all the stuff these are belong these belong to expenses right and all other things they are under either gain or either loss right for example you also sell furniture furniture is not of your core business you are selling computers so if you lost some money on selling of the furniture so that is a loss and loss going to be return under separate head not under expenses it pays the expense but it is returned separately so that when i look i'm outsider and if i look at the at the revenues and expenses so i know that it is under the gain or under a loss so i know that this is not companies normal business you know operation it is something else okay now you tell me name the two things that increase the this company food market in corporations equity stockholder equity so there is a company who sells fresh food so can you name one thing which increases stockholders equity two things two things or uh, revenue well done and um, expense expense going to increase it if if expense decrease expense decrease well done expense decreased and decrease its equity name two things ella can you participate if the expenses increase well done now another thing dividend dividend we pronounce as dividend right well done is there any others yes others we do have let's see the answers here like sale of stock which means their uh, fresh food stock right net income increase decrease mean dividend paid right and if expenses are increase well done good so here comes our third learning objective which is show the impact of business transactions on accounting equation which we just did in our assignment right but this time it will be a little, little tricky here here we go so to illustrate the accounting for transaction let's assume fred a 
Freddy Kish, which is the honor. He opened Freddy Auto Service Incorporation in April 2014. And remember, whenever you read the questions, please do focus on the dates here so that you understand whether this expense belongs to nine months or whole year or one month or whatsoever, right? Very carefully study the accounts and the dates so that you can, you know, uh, remember that whether this expense is for nine months, six months or for whole year. If question is silent, then automatically assume that this is for whole year. If question mentioned April, so it means if the expense is gonna happen from April to onward, it means January is not included, February is not included, March is not included, May is, uh, April is included, right? So let's just talk about it. Transaction one. So you will now understand the impact of transaction. So we know that accounting equation is assets is equal to liabilities plus owner's equity. So this parenthesis mean, means there is automatically an equal sign here, <clears throat> right? So now you will understand that at least there's gonna be this one transaction is going to be affect at least two accounts right and the equation should be balanced so on april 1st freddy kish and a few friends invested fifty thousand to open freddy auto service corporation in return for a common stock honors received common stock and company received cash so what would be the you know, which accounts are going to be hit. So remember, what are the accounts and what are the, you know, uh, sorry, what are the accounts here? So this is our main assets and the assets accounts are cash, accounts table, supplies, land, right? Liabilities are the main head here and liability accounts are accounts payable. Honors equity is the main head here, but the uh, honor equity accounts are common stock and retained earnings. There are others as well, since others are not given here. So this combine all call list of accounts. So this is, if we mention all this, how many list of accounts are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven list of accounts. It means any transaction occurred we must record it in these seven. We cannot generate account from our own because company has a limited list of accounts, right? So this is a concept of listing and the account. So you can create account as well, right? But sometimes company says that if everybody is allowed to add accounts, so there are gonna be thousand accounts. So we wanna restrict that, right? For example, under cash you make two more accounts, bank, and cash, right? And then company would be very, you know, confused, you know, how many checks we receive and what, what will be the money over there and how much cash we receive. So company say you cannot create a bank account, although a bank account is a cash account by definition, but company says no, everything that is related to cash must be recorded in cash, whether it's a check, coin, currency, dollars, yen, whatsoever, it should be recorded in cash. So now you have a